What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the adventures of TNT. Now, babe, um, have you heard of Terrence Trent Darby? No. Nope. Have you heard of that song, Wishing Well? Uh, yes. Okay. So, our patron, Todd, he has requested this song from uh, Terrence Trent Darby, and which is called Holding On To You. Okay. And what's funny is, is that he left a little notation in his message that he sent me, and I do remember him from back in the day. And I remember that song, Wishing Well. You remember how it goes? Okay, so the only reason I know this song, Wishing Well, is because of you. Before that, I never heard of it. Oh, that's in my right. Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I, you know, I still, I still would listen to it from time to time. Yeah. And the funny thing about him was the fact that when he, when he had made that song, or mm -hmm. when I remember from it, um, everybody used to compare him to Michael Jackson because of mm. his moves. And he was nothing like Michael Jackson, especially with his vocal style. Like he had this very raspy voice. Okay. And so, for um. I didn't, you know, I just thought he stopped making music. And mm -hmm. so Todd had informed me that, you know, he became so upset and enraged with the music industry that he packed his stuff up and he moved overseas. Mm. Yeah, and he start, he's still producing music, and which, um, yeah, he still went on to do Good great things. And so um, one of the songs that he released, I guess, uh, in 1995 was Holding On To You. Okay. So uh, he wants us to go ahead and check it out, and uh, let's see what he's got going on. And, and, you know, it's crazy because the only song that I know him from him was Wishing Well. So it's, it's very funny how uh, sometimes the music industry will classify people as one-hit wonders. Mm -hmm. And then we just never hear of any other other music because we think the artists just fall off. Well, that's because the music industry isn't pushing them anymore. Right. Oh, know? okay. Well, that too. All right. Let's go ahead and check it out see what it's, go uh, what it's got going on. Thank you very much. Oops. So he looks different. We had dreadlocks before. Yeah. We would like to sincerely thank you once again for coming and being with us this evening. We appreciate that you chose to come and hang out with us tonight and support us and let us have a good time at your expense. We appreciate it. We would like to leave you, giving you once again our deepest thanks for this little benediction. Once again, God bless you, and thank you very much. We'll see you sometime down the road. Thank you. Is he taking us to church? Is I don't that know. A benediction? Maybe. Sound like it. Must have an unrequited love. Sorry, love is my 
Jackson influence a little bit. Okay. Um, because even though his voice doesn't sound the same, uh, he feels the music like Michael. Yeah. Michael, when he's singing, after every lyric, sometimes he'll go, ha! <laughs> oh, okay. Right. And you can tell when they're believing what they're singing, like all their emotions mm. is going into the song. And this guy is like really a true artist. Yeah, true artist. And you can tell even with his movements, like yeah. his how when he's right. Yeah, I was gonna say yes. that. Yeah. And so um, this is really awesome, but I just wanted to okay. give that a little bit of information, but also the lyrics. Right. That so he's, he's hold saying. hold off on okay. that because we're gonna have our commentary at the okay. end because I have a lot to say and we kind of pause it in the middle of a solo, which is a no no. But oh, yeah, I, I completely feel you on that, and we, because well, I, I do want to speak on well, it. Well, I wanted to pause it before, but I don't have control of anything. Okay, well, here I'm put this keyboard <laughs> right here. So, so let's take it back just a little bit, and let's go ahead and get back into this song. And we're definitely gonna have some words after this. <laughs> On March 16th, 2021. premium, guys, so this is T's fault. <laughs> Sorry. You must have an aquatic place to do. There's all of us, I'm sure, must have fought for booking fear. Yeah! Oh, 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 they want to give. Means letting go of pain. Means letting go of tears. The 
Before you leave the world, you're expected to, to love somebody else. Yeah. You gotta love somebody else. Yeah. Before you leave the world, you got to, if it's just one, you gotta love somebody else. Yeah. And you can't correctly love someone unless you love yourself. Go ahead, man. Unless you feel your soul. Oh, yes, you do. Daddy told me, son, even when you feel like you must walk alone, So lose your faith Cause faith will lead you on Just taking them to church uh-huh. When a dark cloud comes Faith will lead you on Yes my son you got to trust someone You can't be afraid to turn the page No, 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 no He's crying Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got tears coming down his eyes True artist True artist amazing mm-hmm, this was so 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 good this is true talent mm-hmm. this is true talent when you see it and my thing is 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 we see so many artists we mm-hmm. see so many singers we see we talk about it all the time of where so many people sound so much alike there's all these pop stars there's all these musicians out here that make music and they sing and they sound so much alike and you can see who's real and who's not. But this guy right here, he has, like, talent above talent. Yeah, it's God-given talent. And so with the, with the lyrics, like, in the beginning, uh, I love how he started off very soft. Um, the lyrics were very poetic. Mm. I love how he was comparing her eyes to tambourines. Yeah. And, her skin to like oranges or, or or tangerines or something. It was very beautiful. Right. And then he worked his way into um, the song mm-hmm. where you can just feel that emotional connection yeah. that he had with this woman. And I love how he was saying what his dad taught him. Mm. Um and you can tell that his dad meant a lot to him and his dad probably blessed him with the knowledge of loving someone and i think that's really important nowadays because i've seen someone in another comment section he said something about what he taught his sons and he told he told me that 
um, none of his sons are going to get married, and he's really proud. Wow. And wow. that really caught me off guard. He said all his children are of marrying age, all his sons, four sons, and none of them are going to get married, and he's really proud. And I said, of all the things in the world to teach your son, um, <laughs> why would that be it? And it made me think of the relationship he probably had with their mother okay, or right. mothers or whatever. Um, and so there's values wrapped up in this song. Mm -hmm. It's emotion wrapped up in, in this song. And there's love wrapped up in this song. And I think there's so many artists who lack the passion and the love for their craft that that's why a lot of times we don't connect with it right it's just the beat and some some gibberish on top and it's right. like pump it out pump it out right. and so with you saying like him leaving right and going to another country so he can be an artist right yeah and and and, and that's what you can tell you can tell that you know, this isn't a guy that just wants to get on stage and sing and dance. Yes. You can tell from his facial expressions. Mm -hmm. You can tell from his hand gestures. You can tell from the way he's singing. He is thoroughly getting into the music. Mm -hmm. And while I'm listening to this, it just reminds me of how we used to go out to the nightclubs all the time. Mm -hmm. And we would watch artists perform. And you would see some of the most incredibly talented musicians and artists mm -hmm. on stage performing. And you would sit there and think to yourself, like, wow, wow why hasn't this person blown up? And mm -hmm. how, why isn't this person bigger than what they are? Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that, you, you know, he had to go overseas to make a name or to continue doing the work that he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But it's still shocking of how we have so many other bland artists out there. And here it is. This is a guy who I feel like from watching this performance and seeing some of his other songs, this is a guy that was on the same level as maybe uh, as talented as Michael Jackson, Prince, Madonna, all the top, top tier level pop stars or musicians who we have out there because you can see it. Yeah. You can see it in his performance. You can see it in his passion for the song. Right. And you can just feel it in his soul that this guy is just raging with talent. And so while, while I'm watching the performance, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, you know, how, this, how he may have been in a room full of executives for a, the music industry. And they said, perform for us. Let's see what you got. You can't deny this man talent. No, but they're a machine, and it's like not about talent anymore. We were right. watching a Netflix documentary about auto tune, yeah. And one of the guys in the music industry, he was saying, "You don't even need talent anymore. It made his job easier. So right. all you have to do is go out, find a good-looking person. It doesn't matter if they can sing or not. Long as right. they look good, throw them in the studio, right. um, auto tune their voice." voice put some pop lyrics yeah. on it, a, a trap beat or whatever kind of beat, yeah. and pump them and, and, and and, out. And you know what's funny? It, what's funny is is that because of that documentary we watch on Netflix, every song that we heard coming out, we kept hearing... On the radio? We, yeah, we kept... auto -tune. Yeah, and so what we come to find is it's not the high pitch kind yeah, of radio like, style robotic sound like T-Pain right like T-Pain yeah. but auto tune was actually used in a more normal sense well to put them in tune put them in tune this guy just performed live See, and see, and he sounded incredibly see, but good but people can't do that anymore so that's why you have lip syncing and you remember uh it was probably I don't know 15 years ago of the the scandal with Maybe? Ashley oh, Simpson, okay. yeah. and she was caught uh, oh, yeah, lip syncing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, but it was like all of them lip sync. Yeah, everybody lip because syncs. none of them can sing. Right. <laughs> I mean, what you expect them to do? Right. So, um, so this performance was in '95. This was well after Wishing Well. Um, it, it makes me feel a certain type of way Be, it, because after Wishing Well, for the most part, uh, Terrence Trent Darby kind of just disappeared. Mm -hmm. And so I do want to look more into his music. I want to yeah. see what he has continued doing because, like I said, talent like this just doesn't fade away. This is the type of person that is innately gifted. And even after 10, 20 years of just not even doing anything, they can still sing and perform. 
uh so guys if you have any requests for this artist leave them down below in the comment section i want to uh, see what this guy's got going on nowadays anyway i hope you enjoyed our reaction that's our thoughts like share and subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next time peace okay.